I don't know, some weird um, pedagogical insect bit me at some stage. Uh, when I first started uh, working in theatre, uh, I was working uh, with mime techniques. So I was being taught a technique. Um, and then I thought the only way to hold on to this is to reteach it. And that really is probably the start. And that really um, uh, locked it into my body in a way. And in fact, that technique I don't teach now, but it totally informs the way I see things and the way I work with performance because I'll often be quite prescriptive in exactly how they're going to move, which some people find abhorrent, like that's just bad direction. But the point being is what you're trying to do on stage is not create something that's real, you're trying to find something that actually communicates uh, a specific moment that has meaning to the audience. So uh, often that's about getting away from the actor, trying to feel their way through and just go, no, no, at this point we need to know this. So sometimes it's very uh, prescriptive. Um, I try to tap into what their desire is and that's usually, not all the time, but usually a fantasy. Um, I would say celebrity based in terms of our culture and I try to introduce them to a series of technologies of or, or, or structures of what acting could possibly be or performance and I like to slide between those two things you go you've got you're working with we've got 10 10 10 people you've got very specific um, because we're doing a text at the moment very specific characters uh, so for the first week, was it, we just played and then um, in consultation with Grace, we went through and uh, went, you know, do you think um, this... Do they look right? Do they sound do right? Do they look right? Do they sound right? Is this a bit of a stretch for them or... I mean, that's the other thing is trying to figure out what's going to... what they can fit into and what's going to push them a bit. Yeah.